Well, hello there. Again, welcome to Blue Flame Integration. This reading is for the Divine Feminine. I can tell you that right now. Because she showed up right along with the King of Wands in the near future. You want to know what, Divine Feminine? You've been um, kind of hidden away and protected, I feel, from the Spirit. I know this. I'm going to spray sage all over this, too. Protection spirit over this reading. And over the, all the Divine Feminine out there. After I saw the Karmic and Divine Masculine reading, yeah, we need protection. Alright, what's going on here? Divine Feminine. Recent past, there was the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So I'm going to pull these, all oh, three of cups. Yes. And the after tarot. Oh, mm, okay. I'm going to just pull these cards here real quick. I already had the, the main reading laid out earlier for the car. I wasn't sure who that reading was for. And Spirit obviously has taken me on this path. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. This is the after tarot. I'm using the Rider Weight and the after tarot. Let me pull these cards real quick on this reading. We're going to go into a, one hell of a story for the Divine Feminine. You just now showed up in the past position, too. Yep. You're making shit happen. You were making shit happen in the past position. Ooh. Cards want to go flying everywhere. On this hierophant. Why is the hierophant here? Spirit. Oh, okay. Mr. Five of Cups. Okay. Yeah, Divine Feminine. Queen of Pentacles here in the near future. That one wanted to come out. King of Knight of Wands. Someone tried to pull a fast one on you. We're going to try to pull a fast one in on you. Coming up real soon. Making a decision to. Why is the two wands here? Oh, and the Hierophant again. Oh, shit. Recurring cards. Why is the King of Wands here? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles for the outcome for the Divine Feminine. Ah. Well... Ace of Swords, give me, we'll slide that one out. Okay. Interesting, there's another reoccurring card. Ten of Pentacles, one more card. And we'll see what's at the bottom of the deck, because you guys had the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Divine Feminine. Right underneath it was a, you might be turning someone out. Okay, one more card. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups. In the upright, what's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Pentacles. I want to work on this. Somebody wants to work on this. Is it the right timing now? That's what we need to know. Timing. Is someone a changed person? Divine Masculine coming back? Someone a changed person? Someone all worried about materialism? Well, either way, in your recent past, Divine Feminine, which I really feel the reason for the breakup and someone was emotionally unavailable, but very firm on not opening up their heart, and they were closed to higher spirituality. They didn't have their um, brain in the right spot, because look, right here's the Three of Fucking Cups. Yeah, we're all just going to party in the recent past. Very well could have been a karmic. However, I really feel like you isolated yourself. Spirit might have done this on purpose. Keeping you behind um, closed doors. Because right here you are. Queen of Pentacles. Like, look. You got this divine thing. I gave that pentacle to you. Do, don't give it to anybody else. Because guess what? They're just going to go out and party with it. You keep what you got for right now. 
I'm in the works of doing something new. This contract? Yeah, I'm in control of this stuff. There's a magician. Spirit's in control of this whole thing, Divine Feminine. You just hold tight. Hang tight there, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, coming into your um, right now position. You got the freaking magician. The, the magician's here too. Spirit gate is giving you everything. And right, the after tarot, victory. You got the victory card. You're coming trolling in. Yeah, you're looking damn good. Suitors are coming at you. Oh my gosh. Now you have to make a choice, Divine Feminine. Who are you going to communicate with? Are you trying to figure out how to balance all this stuff out in your life? Because you're like, well, Divine Masculine's over here and Suitor's over here. Like, what's worth it? What is worth it? Because I only want Hierophant status. We're above. And here's Divine Masculine. Five cups. Yeah, I spilled those cups. He kicked them cups over. Here's that three of cups back here. In the recent past, yeah, now he's alone. Now he's lonely without your covering divine feminine. And here we come in, in your future. Get ready. Here comes the Queen of Pentacles. There you are again in the near future. Stable and sturdy. You're manifesting things. You're getting communication. You're glowing up. People are seeing you. And look what comes in. To come in and try and thwart your efforts. Here comes the Knight of Cups, or the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry. Mr. Knight of Wands. Is this Divine Masculine coming back in after you? After being out here in third party relationships, realizing, um, yeah, that didn't, that wasn't it. Because <laughs> now he took his world card back. If you'll recall in the Divine Masculine and Karmic reading, they had the, and he took his fucking world back. And he's now standing there alone. Saying, look, I'm picking higher spirituality. I'm going to pick this. Here's a higher fin again. Because you're saying, all I want is higher spirituality. And he's like, oh shit, I guess I got to step up my game. Well, guess what? He's coming rushing in and going to say he's going to step up his game. Mm hmm. Here comes the King of Wands. And he shows up again in the Divine Feminine reading. I made my choice. I choose you, Divine Feminine. Those hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. Those hoes ain't loyal out here. Yep, they're not loyal. Yeah. I went around the mountain a few times. Those hoes ain't loyal. Fine masculine. The outcome of this whole thing. Yeah. There you are, Divine Feminine, keeping your stride. And he's back here saying... Please help me, Five of Pentacles. You're walking away, Divine Feminine. I think that you really don't believe that he wants to work on this thing. You're going to get clarity. Here comes Spirit giving you clarity. <laughs> and the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Now, he realized he wasn't listening to his intuition very well, Mr. Divine Masculine. And those karmics were fake and phony. They realize that you're the, actually the high priestess, sweetheart. Yeah. You're the high priestess. But they were dealing with these karmic people that they set up. Yeah. Now he wants to offer his world to you. Divine Feminine. He realized. And this was in the upright. It was in the reverse in their reading. Here it is in the upright. What's up with this? However, the very last card... Ten of Pentacles. I think you're going to be like, you dumped out my cup of love for a third party situation because you thought I wasn't it. You thought it wasn't me. And now, I'm, I got the Ten of Pentacles all by myself and now you want to come in and after you did this, I don't think so. I don't think so. Coming in all um, lovers-ish and yeah. I'm going to make this right. How can I make this right with Divine Feminine? How can I make this right because I realize those hoes ain't loyal? What's a rough road being in this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine game? Yeah. 
being emotionally unavailable, allowing third party bullshit, partying it up, a bunch of hoes, and skanks, and spirit hid you away the whole time. He was doing the work in you, so that you're ready for commitment when it comes in. You were doing that work. This was hard getting to me. It was hard. But spirit had something up his sleeve. Oh yeah. The magician. Okay. Six of Wands, you got victory. Yep. And it looks like somebody's going to come rushing in at the Queen of Pentacles in the near future. All right. Why is this Four of Pentacles and Three of Cups? Oh, Five of Swords. Yeah. Cut bitches and ask them questions later. They weren't thinking about what they were doing. Yeah. Third party stuff. There's three bitches back there. Yep. Karmics. Yep, there, there's the three. Yeah, there they are. All partying it up. Thought it was all fun and games. Five of Swords. Major douchebag card. Treated Divine Feminine. Like she wasn't t something to be held high on a pedestal. There she is. So Spirit said, okay, back up. We're, I'm hiding you because we're going to do you a work in you. Yeah, okay. Why is the Nine of Pen the nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here for Divine Feminine? Why is the Nine of Wands? She very well could be guarded right now, too. Justice. Retribution. Oh, there you are. Sign of Libra. Yep. This was definitely, um, yeah. Justice. This is the card of Libra. Might have been during that Libra full moon you cut this shit off. Yep. You cut it off. You were like, oh, enough of that soul contract stuff. I, I will take with it. However, well, guess what? When you did that cutting, that removal, oh, their strength. You found out you got strong real quick, Divine Feminine. They're like, yeah. You wonder what? I'm happy just being with me. I got strong. This made you stronger, Divine Feminine. Much stronger. And now, you're way more powerful, too. Mm-hmm. Magician with the Six of um, Wands moving into victory. Having suitors coming at you. Lots of communication. Yep. I think Divine Masculine's feeling a little bit left out in the cold now. So that Five of Swords acting all kinds of douchebaggy-ish. Wasn't really worth it for those karmics, now was it? Yeah, here's a world card. In the upright, with the Magician, you cut off that karmic cycle. And they felt it. You released yourself. And you said, you wanna what? You wanna go be with that? You go be with that. You go do, you go do your thing. And here's the Queen of Cups. Oh, look. <laughs> Queen of Cups, right in dead center. You're getting all kinds of messages of love and offers. And now, you're like Divine Masculine or other suitors. What do I do? I need to stay on my throne, I know that much. That's the most important thing, staying on my throne. Because <laughs> it's five of swords and three of and four of pentacles person, divine masculine was acting like a douche hierophant oh and here's the five of wands oh inner conflict Oh, I'm sorry, two fives right in a row five of cups and a five of wands oh are you having inner turmoil about this decision that you've made huh, are you because you could have had higher spirituality that's what you're thinking? So now he's confused. Oops. Now he's confused. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how to know this just turned here. on. Wow. Either way. Inner turmoil. Very well could be outer turmoil too. Yeah. Spirit might be coming down hard on him right now. So he's like, alright, I'm losing everything. I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my shit. Like, I'm losing my spirituality. I'm losing... I'm not even lucky anymore. I need my Divine Feminine back. Because she she has all the power over here with the Magician and stuff. Because Spirit took my, um... Yeah, sort of like, um... 
uh, that Bible story with Samuel when he got his hair cut and that was his magic. Yeah, he realized she holds all the magic, so guess who's going to come rushing back in? Divine Feminine. I choose you at this point. And I, I got myself right. Oh my gosh, I, I finally figured it out. I got myself right. I did. I, I swear to God, I'm a king of wands. And I walked away from all those bitches and hoes. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands here? Somebody's coming rushing in at you. Is it Divine Masculine? Ace of Swords. You're going to know. You're going to have clarity. I think you already know. I think you can feel it. I think you can feel it. There's a message about to come in. An offer. Yep. Oh, my. Temperance with the Hierophant. Bal you're like, I'm only looking for someone who's balanced. They're going to come in saying they're all balanced. Look at this. <laughs> I'm balanced now. I got my temper under control. I got my sexuality under control. I don't want that third party stuff. I want you now. I got my spirituality back. Do they? Or don't they? I just want my balance back because I feel very off balance right now in the very near future. King of Wands with Two of Pentacles, the juggler. Mm-hmm. Because Queen of Um Divine Feminine was like this. What do I do? This King of Wands here. Mr. Divine Masculine over here. It's like I already made my choice. I want you now. Let's move forward with the chariot. That's a lot of major arcanas that just came out. Yep. Here's a chariot moving forward with your own divine self. However, this dude wants a partnership. He's coming in asking. <laughs> and the, the outcome for this whole thing? You have the Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, reoccurring card again. And the Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess in Reverse, be very careful that he's not going to come in and try and schmooze you. Because there very well could be communication coming in from Divine Masculine. That he's not going to do this and dump out your offer of love again after he um, takes your power. That's what they do. They come in and try and steal your Magician power and your High Priestess and your higher status and High Priestess status and yeah leave you out in the cold and go off with hose again. All right. Outcome here. One card came out. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. I think Divine Feminine, you're going to be looking at these Pentacles real fucking close and being like, hmm. That didn't serve me. That did. That was looking okay, but that was really bad and that was bad and that was bad and that. Yeah. I think it's going to be really weighing up your pros and cons with this if he comes back in and tries to give you an offer. You very well could be tempted to take it. Very well. I want to see if you changed. This four of cups in the outcome doesn't look to me like he changed. It looks to me like he's trying to come back. Here's a breadcrumbing card. To breadcrumb some more. He didn't learn the lesson yet, ladies. This is a breadcrumb offer. The ultimate breadcrumber. Make sure... You stay on your throne, Divine Feminine. You'll have clarity on this, Spirit's saying. And like I said, with the breadcrumbing card, the five pentacles right here, with the unequal, like, begging, he very well could be coming and begging, too, to take him back. Because now he realizes, yeah, you were the one with the power, not him. And he dumped it out. And you're sitting up pretty with the, the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords. Like, you're completely clear. One more card. What's his, um... Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? There's two cards that came out on that. Let's look. Oh, dear Lord. What's the other one? Okay. Bottom of the deck. The Devil. Ladies? Not to mention... What came out on this Four of Cups here is the Fool 
the idiot that was in the the karmic reading and the two of, he's still juggling people be very careful if he comes back he still might be a fool he's gonna come back and ask for a new start and say he's not juggling nobody anymore um i don't know if i trust that because the devil showed up the devil wears prada what the mm. he knows you have a soft spot for him And he's gonna come back in saying, "You're my, you're you're my one and only. Let's work on this, please." And you're gonna have to make a, a choice. Cause it came out looking real good, like maybe there could have been um a possible perfect offer, and no. With this, with the fool. Maybe he's going to come back in and tell you I've made my decision. I'm sorry for dumping out your divine cup. I want a new start. Yet yeah, he's still not sure. What the hell? And he's still, if he's had toxic behavior, it's still not quite balanced out. There's still some lessons that you learned. And you're only taking secure offers of emotion. Be looking for... But this, the past, um, yeah, he's still talking to people and breadcrumbing people. He's not ready yet. He's going to say he is. He just wants your power. That's what I say. He just wants your power. And he's still toxic. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, Divine Feminine. Stay on your throne. After this outcome, he didn't change. He sees that you're doing well. You got clarity moved up to the Ten of Pentacles. He comes in. And you're going to dump out your offer of love again. Because he's still breadcrumbing people. And you're going to see it. You're going to test it maybe. You're going to see he's still juggling. And he's a fool. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, Divine Feminine, for the next, um, June-ish. Beware of messages coming in. Spirit hid you away so that you could learn, learn your own lessons about karma and closing cycles. This motherfucker needs to learn the same damn thing. Until he's ready, there ain't a whole lot you can do except for sit on your throne like a Queen of Pentacles would. Yep, you got the gift. You got the ultimate gift. Spirit. Spirit made a covenant with you. And giving you strength through all this. Don't lose it. This was divine protection. Because from what I'm seeing over in the karmic and... um divine masculine reading there's a lot of possible stabbing and people going through cell phones and possible gun gunfire yeah people losing jobs divine feminine you're doing just fine until they come correct and how you want you know this is toxic so he's still toxic he just wants what you got because guess what? He realized you helped fight his inner demons. It was you, your higher spirituality, that brought him in and out of the cold how many fucking times. And he's having inner turmoil and conflict now because I think the karmic, well, these karmics ain't, ain't these hoes ain't loyal. He's realizing that now, finally. But, it's still not the right timing. He still didn't go through the transformation. Mm-mm. So keep your defenses up, Divine Feminine. You have the Page of Swords underneath that. You wait for Mr. Emperor. When he comes in as sitting on his throne, then you'll know when he's got his shit straight. Dead center. When he comes in emotionally available, you'll know. If he's still on some freaking fuckery bullshit back here, which I'm pretty sure he is, on to the next. He's going to try and get a little bit of schmoozing from you too because he realizes what the power lies and it's not with him. 
spirit took it, took that and gave what was supposed to be yours, the two of you, to you. So you enjoy that, Divine Feminine. You're protected. You've been working on yourself. Spirit sees your hard work. And this guy's still a fool. Either way, that's my... That's it. Now I'm going to spray this shit. Whew. Okay. Well, thank you for that message from my Divine Feminine. I love you. Divine Feminine, stay on your throne. Don't let no toxic motherfuckers in. Okay? Cutting bitches and asking questions later. Because look, even with this, the Knight of Wands coming in here. This Knight of Wands, that's why I questioned it in the near future. Knight of Wands. Fast moving community, that mess. But you're going to be keen to the game. I'm giving you a heads up. Yep, karmic ain't working out too well for this fella. Either way, you guys have a wonderful June. Um, yeah, I found these readings to be quite interesting. I'm going to do one for Divine Masculine, I think, dude, just for him. See what's going on with him. I think I already know. But either way, I'm going to upload this. You enjoy. I love you. Bye-bye.